guys, it's Megan Tonjes, and this is Frequently Asked Tonjes. What? It's been a while since hashtag Church of Tonjes, uh, but it's back. Here we are. It's late, and it won't be Sunday by the time this is uploaded, but that's fine, because we're friends and you'll forgive me. Also, I apologize for this. It's a little chilly in my apartment, and I didn't really take a shower today, so we're just going to embrace it, let go, and let God. You know what I'm saying? The thing that I want to talk about today, completely off the cuff, is something that happened this past week, and... Whenever there's anything to do with bodies now, I am tweeted like crazy. I'm included in every Facebook mention. Everyone wants to know my opinion on it. So here's my opinion. This week, Kim Kardashian put out butt photos and photos of pretty much everything else. And the amount of body policing and slut shaming on my Facebook was nuts. I kind of love when those things happen because it lets me kind of <laughs> clean out my Facebook friends. I'm like, I don't need you anymore. I don't need you anymore. I like to leave a little comment before I go just to remind them that everything they're saying is making them kind of look like a dick and that they should be aware, as I've said in the past, that the standard you hold other women's bodies to publicly is the standard you hold for all of the women in your life. And so be very aware of the things you're saying because they're offensive. <laughs> the most common comment that I seem to see was uh, basically calling Kim Kardashian a whore, making open critiques on her body and its worthiness, and also questioning her motherhood. These all are funny to me because, first of all, the idea of whore, slut, whatever term you want to use, it's such a social construct and it's such a word that is like fueled with all this power that is completely patriarchal and bullshit and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't understand why we as women especially use it for each other because you're just engaging in a system of bullshit. There's no specific line that you cross to become a slut. No one can tell you the number of people you have to sleep with or what kind of sex you have. It has been said before but when you call someone a slut you are saying I'm uncomfortable with the sex that I think you probably have but I really have no basis for that. I'm just super insecure about my own shit and I feel threatened so you're a slut. Ugh, I hate it so much. And granted, I don't know much, I don't know anything really about Kim Kardashian's sexual history, but pretty much all I've seen are her being like long-term, public, high-profile, monogamous, seemingly monogamous relationships, which kind of goes against what the public perception of a slut even is. Wow, she's a 30-year-old woman who's been in relationships and is currently married with a baby. Who gives a thick? Also, this idea of questioning her motherhood because she put out these photos. First of all, did we forget that, like, in the past 10 years, we have only pretty much seen this woman's body? It started with the release of a sex tape. It has continued with leaked photos. As we are with most celebrities, we have been obsessed with her body pre-baby and post-baby. And I guess I'm just still shocked whenever a photo of this woman comes out and people freak out. It's like, what are you shocked about right now? Good for her. Dude, if something of mine was leaked and the entire world saw and made fun of me and made me like basically a laughing stock, and then I somehow created a career out of those people's obsession with my body and then also had my body photographed in a way and presented in a way that I wanted people to see it. Good. It's fine if you don't like her as a person. I mean, be aware that you've never met her and she's a stranger and you don't really know her. So take that with a grain of salt. But don't like someone's personality, fine. But the minute you start bringing in like slut or fat or disgusting or any of these different terms that have nothing to do with your personal dislike of someone's personality, it's like, eh, mm, I see you. Fucking your cards are straight up, I see them. People questioning her motherhood, it's like, dude, there are people that are like leaving their children in cars and like hanging toddlers and beating them to death and locking kids in closets for years until they starve to death. And we're sitting critiquing like, oh, well, this kid's gonna be embarrassed one day when mommy's nudes are out. Mommy's nudes have been out for the past 10 years, dude. Nudity is not that big of a deal. It's not, it's, it really isn't. And as you grow up and you are in relationships and you have sex, you're going to develop your ideas and your beliefs concerning nudity and sex and the connection between those two. I hope that a lot of these people that saw these photos and were offended by seeing someone's vagina and boobs don't ever walk into any place that has art. Never see those people like in the Sistine Chapel being like, oh man, that girl's titties out and there's baby angels as fuck and what kind of mother would you be? It's not that big of a deal. It's a human body. Get over it. Like, <laughs> The reason that people get away with doing this and make money off it is because y'all freak out over stupid stuff. Y'all act like you don't see a naked body every day when you look in the mirror and the way you react to when you see naked bodies lets me know that when you look in the mirror you hate what you see because anyone that is comfortable with their business really doesn't care about the business of other people. When they see it they rationally as an adult can be like, yep, yeah, well that's, that's a body. That's what human bodies look like. Basically, know that I'm always going to err on the side of 
body positivity and people owning whatever and I don't need to question the motives of Kim Kardashian or any other person that wants to take photos of themselves naked, put photos of themselves naked out. I probably won't buy the magazine because I don't really care that much and I'm not that shocked by it but y'all are making it a thing and then you hate yourself for making it a thing but you're making it a thing. If you really want to talk about something in this and have a conversation, I would seriously consider actually looking up this photographer and maybe the racial implications of this photo in this photo series and the recreation of these specific poses and I'm getting a text message probably from a very cute man right now but I'm making a video that I will link to some articles below that you can read and have discussions about actual things and not just how uncomfortable you are with seeing a grown woman's body naked. It's just you have to log out every three minutes because you use all your energy. And what's the point of doing anything? <sighs> the upside is it's free. And you have a phone. So f loaded, I guess. And uh, Kim Kardashian's ass looks on point. <laughs> She's always dressed to the f nines. I'm a little in love with her avatar. <sighs> oh my god, I'm shaking.